hi to everybody now i want to explain how the construction of a circuit diagram of a three phase induction motor by using the given data that is no load data and short circuit data or blocked rotor data hi friends this is the given data about the no load data no load and short circuit data we have to consider the angles phi not and phi sc that is the angles obtained from the no load and short circuit data we can see the values the voltage and the current and the power given in the both tests now to find out the angle between them is by using these formulas for phi not that means the no load angle is the cos inverse of w not by root 3 v not i not hence from the data we can receive that 85.24 is the obtained degree and for the phi sc that means the short circuit data we have the formula cos inverse of wsc by root 3 vsc isc we can obtain 69.49 degrees for plotting these degrees we have to use the the required which we want and if it is ne it is necessary or not to represent in graph or a chart now i will explain how the diagram will be constructed from the step wise step 1 made x axis and y axis the reference we have taken are x axis and y axis y axis represents the voltage and x axis is as the plane for the diagram the next step is to plot the obtained phi sc and phi not values by using protractor we can made we can plot the angles from the plane from the o hence the points are plotted with their uh, referred degrees now we have to know the values of i not and isn so we have to calculate the i not and isn this is the step 2 while calculating the i not and isn we have to set a current scale with our assume now i taken current scale 1 cm equal to 8 amps then the isn formula becomes isc into v not by vsc and the value obtained was 23.34 cm and the i not which is taken from the the no load current and by the scale we have assumed the current scale then we obtain 2.6 cm as the o to o dash and from that i have drawn the line 23.34 cm from the point o and we have to mark it as point a then o o dash line we ha we are having the value 2.6 cm which was obtained from the given data then draw it from the o hence the o o dash is obtained then we have to mark the phi sc and phi not angles hence the points are marked then the step is to draw a parallel line from o dash to the end of the x axis where we have to take in then the next step is to join the line o dash to a it is the output line the output line also occurred then the step is to draw the perpendicular perpendicular bisectors from o a line the perpendicular bisector cuts the line which is drawn parallel to the x axis at the point c then we have to draw the circle from c to o dash line with the help of the compass hence with the help of the compass we have drawn the circle with touching the a point to the x axis then we have to draw the lines of the rotor copper loss and the stator copper loss a line is drawn from a to the x axis and the point where touched the x axis is pointed as g and where the point touched the parallel line is the point f and the d is the indication of the x axis and the parallel line that is fixed losses 
to calculate the rotor copper loss it is obtained and to calculate the shatter copper loss we have to calculate the ag distance and then we have to make it half half point and join to the o dash point after calculating the length af and dividing it half we obtain a point and mark it as e join to it o dash point hence the up the upper part is indicated as the rotor copper loss and the stator copper loss is indicated as ef for rotor copper loss it is indicated as ae here the point f to g indicated the d that is fixed losses and we measured the separation of core losses that is ae by ef which can we seen in the diagram then the calculation of the power scale we for calculation of power scale we have to first measure the length of the ag total length and we obtain from this the ag is equal to 8 cm then calculating the short circuit power with nor normal applied that is wsn is equal to the formula wsc into v not by vsc hence we obtain 47014.45 watts the formula for measuring the power scale is wsn by ag we obtained the wsn and vag also then to measuring the power scale we have to divide the both then we obtain 5877.178 that is watts then calculation the output of motor it is calculated the full load output is equal to horsepower into the four this is due to it's a 4 hp motor then we can calculate the full load output hence we obtain 29.84 kilowatts to calculate the full load output we have to extend the line ag vertically upwards that is we can obtain it from the full load output by the power scale hence we are having the values the full load output is 29.84 and the power scale is 5877.178 that is equal to 5.07 hence we are indicating it in centimeters then the next step is the ag is vertically vertically extended up to 5.07 centimeters as we required value required value we have to increase the value hence the point is obtained and it marked as w then we have to join it to the circle circumference and from that we received the points p q r and k is the right angle for that line then join l and w then the next step is to draw a straight line from the point c to the circle circumference mark it as y then the point where the perpendicular bisector that is the point n then the a line is drawn that is n to the torque line is marked as s hence the construction of the circle diagram is completed and this is the final circle diagram of the three phase induction motor using the data next we have to calculate the parameters of the circle diagram and we have to calculate the parameters at last from the diagram now the total motor input that is equal to lk into power scale we obtain the value 27034.18 lk is calculated from here this is the point l and this is the point k and hence we obtained the total motor input next the fixed loss rk into power scale we obtained 1763.15 in the circle diagram we can see the point rk this is the point r and this is the k hence we obtained the fixed losses next the stator copper loss and rotor copper loss we can obtain these from rq into power scale the stator copper losses and pq into power scale the rotor copper losses the stator copper losses rq 
this is the point R and this is the point Q. And hence we obtain the value 1175.43 and the rotor copper losses. It is from the point P and this is the point Q. Hence we obtain the rotor copper losses. And the total loss also we have to calculate that is PK into the power scale. Here we can observe that P and this is the point K and the total length PK indicates the total loss that is we obtain 4114.01 Next the rotor output and the rotor input Rotor output is LP into power scale and rotor input is LQ into power scale Hence we can calculate this from the circle diagram we are obtained The rotor output that is LP this is the point L and this is the point P into power scale we can get the rotor output and the rotor input that is LQ and this is the point L and this is the point Q hence we obtain the rotor input the values of the rotor output and the rotor input are 23508.68 for rotor output 24096.39 for rotor input then we have to calculate the slip the slip is equal to PQ by LQ here the PQ it indicates the rotor copper losses and then the point LQ it indicates the total that is from L point to Q and this indicates the W to E this is the total slip we have to find out and the formula for slip is equal to PQ by LQ then we can obtain 0 0.073 the slip value then the power factor that is cos phi angle between OL and Y axis it is equal to 39 degrees we obtain this from the circle diagram and the power factor angle can measure from the circle diagram it is 39 we can see here then the motor efficiency that is equal to output by input the output is 3.9 and the input is 4.6 for efficiency calculation we multiply 100 hence we can get 84.78 percent as the motor efficiency then the rotor efficiency hence it can calculated rotor output by rotor input that is equal to 3.9 by 4.1 into 100 that is 95.12 percentage hence the rotor efficiency also calculated then the last parameter starting torque that is AE in, A into power scale the AE here we can see the point A and the E the AE into power scale hence we can get the starting torque that is 23508.68 synchronous watt it is the the torque can be measured in synchronous watt hence the starting torque also measured and these are the parameters for the circle diagram of the three phase induction motor with I have given with the required data I have drawn the diagram and this is the final diagram of the three phase induction motor circle diagram thank you